Hello, my name is Cactus Con Carne. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome back to the only how-to cooking show you need to be watching on YouTube. Now, I said we were going to do fish. That was two weeks ago. Now we're finally going to do fish. Now, come over here. Now, what we've got is a nice big fillet of salmon. We have two lemons and some dill. Now, this isn't anybody's recipe. It's just the way that I enjoy this. There are numerous other ways to do it. Uh, you can do it with garlic, you can do it with butter, you can do it with garlic butter, you can do it with lemon and garlic and butter and whatever other herbs you may find, rosemary, whatever, but this is my favorite. So what you need to do is you need to get yourself a nice large sheet of aluminum foil. I'm using heavy duty. You do not have to use heavy duty. But that's just what I have on hand, so that's what I'm going to use. Now, you want it roughly two times the size of your fillet. It can be a little bit bigger than that. So what you want to do is get your get your fillet and lay it out accordingly. Now, you have to make sure you have enough space on either side. You can, I think I fucked it up. Nope, I got it. Fold it back over on itself just like that. Okay. So. Set this aside for now. Grab your lemons. Slice your lemons up. Alright, so you have your lemons, you've got Mr. Fish, so get your lemons, all over your fish. There's seeds in there, don't worry about it. Now, get yourself your dill. One of two things you can do with this. You can either take the back of your knife and just bruise it up slightly. If you're not looking to chop it. You're just looking to bruise it a little bit to get the flavor out. Or you can take it and boil yourself some water and dip it straight in the water and that will also activate it. Now, I really like dill and lemon, so I'm going to add this whole sprig of lemon and, or a whole sprig of dill and both lemons to this. Now what you want to do is you want to make yourself a pouch. So fold up your side. I'll make sure that it is nice
and tight. And hold up your top as well. You have a nice pouch to keep it all in. Now, take it, slap it on a cookie sheet, and put it in 400 degree oven. Just like that. About 20 minutes. What you want to do is you want to check it after the 20. If your fish is flaky and opaque, as in not, you can't see through it, then that is good. If it is still translucent, meaning you can somewhat see through it, or it's still, uh, well, I mean, y you'll understand once you see it. It's, it's hard to explain without actually seeing it. Alright, so when you check it, just take your herbs aside, take your lemons aside, and this is what I'm talking about. This, zoom in, this is still translucent. This is raw still. So what you want to do is you want to take it and stick it back in for maybe another 10 minutes. So mine is going to go back in for another 10, which will be 30 minutes in total. So this is the flaky texture, just like this. This is what you're looking for. Now make sure that your whole fish is like that and not just a small section, please. So this is how I like to eat it. I like a little bit of fish with my lemon. Um, you can also add a little bit of pepper, a soupçon of salt, just a little tiny sprinkle. You don't need much more than that. But uh, you don't need a knife, you just need your fork. Dig straight in there. <laughs> Dig straight in there, and I like to rub mine on the lemon. Perfect. All right, guys. So back in kitchen adjacent to do a cost breakdown. Now, as this wasn't a real recipe, I just kind of threw it together. Um, I didn't really plan on doing much of a uh, cost breakdown for you. Um, I spent about fifteen, sixteen dollars on a, a nice big fillet of salmon. Now, you can shop around, do whatever you want, feed however many people you feel like. This um, will probably only feed me and my wife because my wife is a fish fiend now. So I spent about $15, $16 on the fish, about $2 on dill, and $2 on lemons. So it breaks down to roughly about $19, $20 for fish. That's not bad, considering it can feed more than two people. It would probably feed four or five, I'd say. Uh, conservatively, you can obviously get bigger fish that will do such. I bought wild Atlantic salmon fillet. Um, it's what I had. Uh, I could have bought sockeye, I believe, which is also a good choice, but uh, this is just what I chose because they were bigger. Uh, no real recipe, like I said. You can do whatever you want. Salt, pepper, throw it in the oven, use some butter, use some garlic, you know, herbs, whatever. Anything goes, anything your imagination come up with, um, obviously pick some nice things to go with it. You can also, in the pouch, throw in like some asparagus, uh, you know, vegetables like that, and uh, have a whole meal in a bag. But that is a, another show for another time. When you buy your salmon, mine had skin on, and it was already descaled meaning it had no scales but the skin. That's not going to kill you. It's actually quite good for you. You can cook it up and eat it. It tastes just fine. Don't be scared of it. Um, the only thing you should really look for is something called pin bones. 
Now what you do is when you have your fillet, it should be laid out flat, you should be able to run your finger gingerly down the middle of it. And if you feel any hard protrusions, you can just pick them out. Make sure you get them all because if you swallow one, that is not a very good thing. You can wind up in the hospital. Um, it's very, very dangerous. So make sure you check for pin bones before you cook your fish. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, leave a comment, go on if you're on Facebook, share it on Facebook, share it with all your friends, get word around. The more people that share this, the more people it gets to, the more videos I can make. So that is all for me. Um, oh, one more thing. I am transitioning into a new job and I do not believe the update schedule will be uh, Thursday night Friday morning like it has been it's going to probably switch to Monday night Tuesday morning if I can't do that I'm hopefully still going to film those days and maybe try and post it on the Thursday whenever I get the time. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know what happens with that. But uh, for now, the update schedule is still going to be every two weeks. And uh, it might change to Monday night, Tuesday morning rather than Thursday night, Friday morning. So that's all for me. I have been Cactus Con Carne, and this has been Cactus Cooks.